We're working with two pieces of aluminum and our Super Alloy 5 rod and flux. Now the reason why I'm using this hanger wire is to uh, get it away from this thick steel plate that we have. Otherwise it would take me forever to heat up that bottom piece of uh, aluminum. Now I'm just grabbing a little bit of heat to my rod so I can dip it in to my flux. I'm going to grab a little more flux for this side. And just so I get enough foil, I'm going to get just a little bit more flux in the back. Now, adding the rod is going to do me no good until my flux does its job. A nice broad heat. And it's telling me to go ahead and lay my, my rod in here. So I'm just going to add a little chunk of rod. And now work it side to side. Front and back, side to side. A nice broad heat. There we go. We're going to let it cool down, clean it off, and give it the strength test. Well, this is how it cleaned up. You see that it flowed side to side. And take a look at the back side. It pulls all the way through and the bottom. No heat affected zone like you would get with your Mager TIG. And it's as strong as a Mager TIG. Wow, look how good that looks. Now I know it looks good, but you know what I'm gonna do next? I'm gonna have to see if it's strong. That's for sure, John. Look at that though, that looks beautiful. That looks 10 times as good as a TIG well, and this would have taken me, you know, more time to set up than it took for you to do the entire process. That's amazing, and it looks so pretty. And you said this is food grade? Yes. Okay, that's important too. Absolutely, there's no cadmium in the rod at all. Wow, I mean, first of all, I mean, you know, just give it the, I can't. Yeah, I'm gonna want you to grab some pliers and really see what it takes to break that. All right. Really see what it takes to rip that apart. You saw how little amount of rod I put on that. I didn't, I didn't put, you know, a bunch on both sides. I put a little bit on one side. Wow. It's not going to go. Bend it. I mean, again, really, really, really try to, to get that thing smokes. off of there. Look at that thing. I mean, it is just there. Look at that. Ugh. Now I'm prying. I've stretched the joint. Can you see that? It's malleable. It actually stretches with it. I stretched the joint. It's That's incredible. Wow. I would not have expected that, honestly. I was expecting to ruin your video right there. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's crazy. I I've mean, never seen it break. Uh, I've brought this to, uh, I'm using prying and bending. You can see where I stretched. Well, I mean, I don't know if you call it a weld at this point, but uh, where it's I- It's weld strength. Yeah, it's weld strength. It, I mean, I would expect it to rip the aluminum on either side of the, the weld or in this case, the braze. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's impressive. And that was with propane. Yes. Wow. I don't get impressed very easily. Jeez. Well, our products were made for maintenance. That's how, uh, that's how we came about. We want, because we knew that when it comes to maintenance, you work with something different every day. Production, you know exactly what you're working with. For maintenance, we had to make better products. I mean, this is on 16th of an inch aluminum, too. I mean, this is ridiculous. I mean, think about your all the uses I can use for this, but I mean, you know, patching a hole in a boat, whatever, it's just crazy. Boats, engine blocks, uh, it'll work with, um, you know, intake manifolds, uh, transmission cases, aluminum rims, but forget car parts. It works with uh, any type of aluminum on the market. 
bicycle parts. Bicycle parts. I've got guys that, that uh, have been buying the products for years for bicycle parts. Motorcycle, marine, as you saw earlier. That is amazing. I'm blown away by that. That is crazy. Crazy strong. Man, I wasn't joking around trying to break it either. <laughs> wow, really cool. Well, thank you, thank you, John. Really appreciate your time. Thank you. Absolutely. That's a Super Alloy 5 rod and flux and a propane torch.